So you can see there's stuff sitting out right there. Bunch of stuff, a couple of little things here. Trash cans full, a couple of chairs out here in the front yard. Let's see what we got in here. A little bit of trash, it looks like right here. Trash, looks pretty clean. There's a sofa over there. This all looks pretty, pretty good. Okay, it's the living room. Down the hall, it looks pretty clean down there. You can see in here, there's a couple of fridges. I said this one's broken, so I have to get rid of this one. And this one they got, there was no fridge originally, so I got a fridge out of it, but I gotta get rid of this one. This all looks good. You can see the new cedar wall separating the other side, which I live on, to this side. Looks like they cleaned the sink. They cleaned the oven. They cleaned the inside of the oven. And I'm sure they got most everything out of the cabinets, but I'll go through the cabinets. Looks like they did a good job cleaning here. Now let's go back around here and look in the bedrooms. This is also the other cedar wall dividing the other side of the house. It used to go through here and go through on the other side if you've been following along in some episodes playlist. On the conversion project, looks like they cleaned in here. This looks really good. They hit the closet. Okay, they got that out. Looks like they cleaned in here. Okay. This is a problem they mentioned. So I have to fix this, the kid's room. The kids were playing with it, pulling the tape right here. And this window in the kid's room was busted out. So I'll have to fix that window as well. But everything else looks pretty good overall. A little bit of crown, a little bit of crown on the wall. I'm gonna give them back half their deposit, not the full deposit, half. You can see in here, we already went in there, down the hall, cedar wall, let's check the bathroom. You can see this looks good. Looks like they cleaned inside the bathroom. They left the shower curtain, so we'll go ahead and leave that. Looks like they cleaned there. over the top here, all the way through. I'm here to change the air filters. I've got two air filters that I'm gonna change. One here and one there. Let's get that done. You can see the dirty air filters here, the clean ones there. I have a whole video on this, which I'll link right up there in the top. But you can see it'll say the size that you need. You'll, so you'll measure it, get the same size or whatever, and then make sure the air flow is going this way, the arrow is going that way and then push it in there. Lock this up here. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna do that on the other one too. So after cleaning up and getting all the stuff off the floor, all the gum and all the food and everything, it was just grimed on the floor, lots of sticky stuff. Anyway, I got all that up and after just looking at this, you got the TV in here that doesn't work. So I'm going to have to get rid of that. And then you got this issue right here, which is pretty much top to bottom on the wall. And then this, um, I believe this was already here from a foundation crack, which you can clearly see that's just a foundation crack that wasn't from the people. So I could probably go ahead and just fix that as well while I'm working on this. And I'll go ahead and knock both of those problems out. Um, I'll be making videos separately on this and this issue, but this was caused by them. Um, 
you can just see how the walls look in here. Like, you know what I'm saying? And uh, this was the kids' room, obviously, so <clears throat> what do you do? But look, I mean, just writing on the walls. And when I was zoomed out, when I was making the original impression video, it looked pretty good. But after looking around, I mean, you got, look at the doors, all my doors. There's just stuff all over. I mean, look at this. This is not acceptable. So I'm gonna be working on all this today. I'm gonna to be painting um, this trim and stuff like this, which th those two spots were there originally, but this all was not here. Look at this. Okay guys, not acceptable. I told this person I was gonna give them back 300 whenever they were here yesterday, but after doing lots of gum scraving and uh, you know, what not seeing or being mentioned about this, she said that they said that they were gonna get all this off the walls. You can clearly see there was no effort here. They ran out of time, didn't have enough time. That's why I ended up going to the dump several times with truckloads of stuff. Um, that's why I'm gonna have to end up repainting this entire wall. This door has to be repainted. This is not gonna work, okay? And after looking further in, this was not mentioned either. You can see right here, this all was not mentioned. And there's a big crater in the wall right here. I don't know if you can see that. This was been busted out. You can see the lines going this way. And right here, towards over here, like it's an impression hit. And there's right here, a crack right here. So this whole corner was in impacted right here and once again you got crown top to bottom holes um, things left in the wall stuff like that over here okay look on side my brand new cover here crown sharpie right there lines another impression right here this was another damaged area there's an impact right here i'll be making a video on all this stuff impact right here okay all that and all that and then all the crown and the door you've got you've got this right here okay this was not mentioned you think that's all no no sorry that's not all we've got it throughout the house look at this Okay, it's just like this throughout the house. Look at this. This was not here originally. It's good that they did that, but it looks like maybe the kids tried to bust in the door here and they tried to repair it and it actually works. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it, but um, kids or something busted in the parents' room probably. Broke the door. They did fix that. And then in here, there's just a few things which I'll leave. This is okay. I'll leave that for now. But anyway, um, yeah, I just go throughout the house. It's on in here too. It's all on my doors here, you can see, there. Okay, it's just like that. Like I said, throughout the house, there's this, okay. Okay. Just stuff like that. And the kitchen looks pretty good overall. But the kids got a hold of some of these doorways. You can see, once again, right here in the living room. And I was told all this was gonna be gone and they were gonna get rid of all this. Clearly it's not gone. Look at this. If I get up close on the walls, you guys can see this stuff. But when I'm walking through, first glance, it looked pretty good. But right now, I'm not happy. I'm gonna be working here all week. The family has already moved, uh, paid me. I scrubbed this floor for about five hours yesterday. You can see this floor looks good now. I scrubbed this floor for five hours getting gum and food, mainly from this area over here and then all throughout. Pine sawing this two times. 
and scrubbing with my hands and the razor blade to get uh, gently to get all the gum and tarnish and garbage off. Okay, five hours. Just all throughout the house. I said, looks pretty good in here. Looks pretty good in the kitchen. Looks pretty good in the bathroom. Pretty good down through the hallway. But this room, well past the deposit. I mean, we're looking two, three thousand dollars in renovations for all this. If I was to hire all this stuff out, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint. I'm gonna show you what I'm what I'm needing to do this. I got a T-shirt there for uh, paint drips, a towel or a blanket for paint drips, a roller, an extender, two paint brushes, um, a bowl to put paint in, a tool to get out the nails and screws with this Dewalt drill. I've got gray and white paint and a radio. Yes, I will be listening to music. And I'm gonna start by painting this wall and painting this wall over here. Um, I'll show you what that looks like here in a second, fast version. But check out my painting playlist and my sheetrock playlist and you know, go through some of those things to see how to fix all this stuff. I've got it all lined out. I'm also thinking about replacing these two plugs <clears throat> with a child resistant tamper proof. And this one over here so i'm going to do thinking about doing an, a room electrical update as well while i'm going ahead and fixing these areas i'm also going to have to paint repaint this wall and this wall and this wall and, and fix this window which was busted out twice okay i've already replaced this window before and it's broke again <clears throat> also there was fridges left two fridges which we made an agreement on but uh, the house should have looked more like this being cleaned all that stuff should have been gone all, You can't expect to get a deposit back when the almost half the house is damaged has to be repainted Has to be retouched up sheetrock repair throughout the house trim repair I uh, forgot to mention there was a uh, all the gum and stuff all the greasy junk and I just made a video on this and we built this on a video and this tenant broke it within three months and I now have to replace this piece. Also, you can see it's been busted off. Okay. And that's because they moved the fridge in. That fridge was too big and it scraped through here and it scraped all out here and busted that piece off probably because they took the doors off and stuff couldn't put it back together so now I gotta fix that also these two fridges was the agreement there was a lot more issues other than just having to get rid of these two things originally you see in this video is dragging on with how much stuff I'm doing I'm gonna be working in here for the next uh, the rest of the week and this family's moving in on Saturday so let's look what this looks like let's see this process First, I'm gonna use the Dewalt drill and take out all the screws, okay, on the wall, because we gotta prep these walls to paint. So first, I'm gonna take out all the screws, then I'm gonna take that rabbit's claw thing and pry out all these nails, okay? One way up there, so I gotta go back over and get my step stool just to get that. But I gotta get that out. We're gonna get all those nails out and all those screws out, and then I'm gonna come down on these out with plate covers and we're gonna get a flat head, so I gotta go back over and get a handheld screwdriver. I'll take the flat heads out of these to get these covers off, okay? Get that cover off and get all this stuff out and ready. So we, and we're gonna get this cover off. with this little piece right here and a small paintbrush. You just put that on there like that and then paint and then it keeps it off your trim. Okay. And also I painted in the corners already. You can see all the way around and around that light strip all the way around. Okay. Except for that wall over there. You can see where I ran out of paint, but I will zoom out. You can see I've got it painted all around up to that area that I'm going to work on here. That I'm gonna work on here. I painted over all that and that right there you can see is an issue and this wall is painted and above the door 
and there's a little issue up there. Okay, and then I gotta paint this wall still and put two new mini blinds in right here and replace that glass and then paint this little strip right here and you can see I still have to cut around the edge right there. But I am gonna get to cutting. I've cut around that. You see over here, I've taken off the plate there, taken off the plate there. I left that one because I ran out of paint, but I'll end up taking that out, that out, that out, and I'll take that out and all of those will be replaced and with new covers as well. Okay, so you can see I'm in here and I've painted the entire room, top to bottom, trimmed in the edges and everything around the doors and trim at the top and the bottom and around everything. I've got, you can see, I have all my electrical things off. This one's off. That one I'm showing you, all I'm doing is taking out the top screw here and the top screw down here, they're flatheads. I'm taking those out and then this pops off. Turn off your electric at the meter first or at the, uh, at the main panel breaker. You can see I've got this one out. I've removed the two screws and pulled it out so I can see what I have. I've got a black and a white and no ground. There's no ground. Um, what I'm actually gonna do is just go back with what they have. Since they just have black and white, I'm just gonna use black and white on the new switches. Okay, or the new receptacles. And over here, you can see this one has two wires going to it. There's two blacks, there's two whites, and whites would go to the silver. Blacks will go to the brass, and I have a whole electrical playlist you guys can check out on all this stuff. But I'm just showing you a quick video of what it's like to get a house ready and do a little bit along the way. You can see this one does have a ground wire. That's because one is a two-wire system and one is a three-wire system. So they hooked up that one has a ground on it. Switch over here. I've got it pulled out of the wall the same way. Top and bottom screws. It's got a black and a white. Okay. But in this case... Both of these are probably, um, I don't know, we'll see. Typically, the white one would just be shoved back in. So this white one might actually be a hot wire. Um, I'll look into that a little bit more. Okay. And then, like I said, and there's this switch over here. Let's see what they did on this one. This one was really janky. It's basically, I don't even know how it was working, but it was. Um, we've got one wire in here too, a black and a white. Okay. So those might both be hot too. We'll look into this. I'm gonna look into these and, and get them hooked up. Get all these, I'm gonna get all these replaced, starting with the receptacles, and then I'll turn on the power so I can mess with the switches and see if both wires are hot on both of those or, or what they got going on. And I'll hook it up just like they did before. I now have all new plugs and the electrical is on right now. I've got hot to brass, white to silver, green to ground. Okay, tamper resistant. This one I had to check with um, this tool right here. And it's actually, they put a white wire to the black wire with a wire nut. That is actually hot still. And that white one that has a black one on it is actually neutral. So that's very misleading. Um, if you're working with this stuff, don't swap colors like this guys. Okay, so, but I know which one's which now. This is actually hot. And this is actually neutral, so I'm gonna hook that up now, now that I know. And this one over here was good, okay? There was uh, more wires on this one. There was two whites to the silver, two blacks to the brass, and a green to the ground, okay? All tamper resistant. And then you can see, I got this switch right here. The ground was snipped, um, but you have the white and the black were both hot, okay? So now, in this case, anyway, and that works, okay, on, off. There's the closet light over here, and it has the same, uh, but it's a two wire system, so black and white, and both were hot in this case. Oftentimes they did this in older houses uh, with lights. Okay, so that works on off over here. Now I'm gonna shut the power back off, and I'm gonna hook up this, and then I'm gonna put the covers back on the same way we did take these other covers off with that little screw right there. I'll put this over this, and put a screw in it, and then we'll have to attach the top screw and the bottom screw first. Keep that in mind, so. Uh, I'll show you on this one really, really fast. We'll put that top screw in, and that bottom screw in, and then this part in the middle, will connect right here, and I'll bring you back once I get all that done, and I'll continue painting. See, now that this door is painted, it's starting to look pretty good. I've got the inside painted. Still gotta work on that. I've got the plugs done. The switches are done. All the electrical in here is updated. I've checked everything. Okay, now, uh, and I've also painted the door frames. 
like around, all the way around, all the door frames throughout the whole house. Um, these areas didn't go uh, out on the first coat, so I'm gonna end up painting this, the door, the bad spots, probably two or three times. But I've got all those painted and they're starting to look good again. Uh, you can see this doorway, it's looking good. And in here, I've got the other doorway. This one has been painted as well. And you can see I still gotta get rid of both of those fridges because the one that they left, that they traded me for that one, ends up not working. So neither one of these fridge work, that's why they left them. And going on here to replace that mini blind too. And these two mini blinds. Okay, I'm about to start cutting the holes out in the wall. So what I'm gonna do here is I can tell that this is broken right here, from here over, and I have to find the nearest stud over here and then cut out this whole section because it's in, it's impacted and the stud runs over here and it's impacted over here. So I can't just run tape on that and call it good. This is a major repair. So I'm gonna cut out from right here over and down like this and get it over to the studs. Sorry for the focus on that. I'm gonna get all that cut out right there and then I'm gonna get all this cut out, same thing from the nearest stud over to that corner and I'm gonna replace up to here probably, this whole area that's broken. This little corner over here, I'm just gonna use tape on that. And then I'll have to texture this as well and then repaint. And then this area, I'm gonna remove this bracket with a uh, little hex head thing. I'm gonna put on my drill. You could, you could do this by hand too with a little, uh, with a little ratchet. And anyway, I'm going to be doing that right now also, and I'll bring you right back after I get all this cut out. You can see now I have this hole cut out and that hole cut out. Everything here is solid. Everything here is going to be good. All I have to do is cut those rectangles and I want to show you something. You want to make sure you expose the stud, half of the stud here and half of the stud here, which in this case is in the corner. Okay. And I actually it was busted all the way down past the trim, so I'm gonna have to go down to the floor behind that trim as well. And there's that. And then there's this one, same thing. Stud here, stud there, okay? And at the bottom and the top of these, I'll put a little one by four, a little strip of a one by four in there that sticks up halfway this way and half down here. That way we can put a screw in here to secure it against that, and then put a screw in here to secure it, pull it against that wood and that'll make it sturdy too, which I'll show you guys what I do on that. But this is coming along, and also this spot, I've got this area ready to go, and I've taken a hammer, and you wanna take a hammer and be in around all of those uh, things that were sticking out of the wall, make an indention, that way it's not sticking out, it's indented in the wall, all the way around, okay, same thing here. And this tape, I just cut a line across right here to get to the solid tape, that solid tape, all this tape was ripped off down below, so I'll have to replace that. And then I'll put a, a, a seam of tape right here as well. Okay, and this was the actual foundation crack. So I'll go ahead and cover that as well while I'm doing this and fan this out because this wall is not really level. It's taller here and lower here. So I'll fan it out this way and try to cover up all this stuff and then we'll retexture. Okay, this is what it's looking like. So you can see all the damaged areas now. reason I cut out the holes at the house and everything is so I can measure them here at the store at Lowe's and I'm cutting everything here because I can't fit it in the car I'm gonna cut out the pieces I've already got one cut there I'm gonna get this one ready and then I'll pop them right in place as you can see the tasks are piling up okay we're getting going here we're making progress I want to show you guys what I'm doing right here look at all this guys Jeez. Okay, so I got this. I just found a scrap piece of wood out in the yard, a little fence picket, and I put one there and one there, you can see. And now I will put this in place and I'll have something to nail to, okay? And I did the same thing over here, except for I couldn't get it out once I got it in, but I got it in there and you can see the wood back behind there. I pushed it down a little bit over here. I could raise it back up if I wanted, but um, anyway. I will go ahead and put the screws in here. I just wanted to show you how that works. So there it is. Okay, 
And now I'm going to do the mud and tape, which check out my sheetrock playlist. And I will bring you guys back after I mud this. It is late, 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 late at night. And I have just got these things done here for the second coat. Okay, two coats. You can see it's all drying still and everything. I've got this corner built now. Okay. And I'm going to end up wet sponging all the way around these edges, wet sponging really, really well. And the reason I'm going to be doing that is because of the texture and I want to, uh, you want to take this square like edge off and buffer it into those by wetting this whole edge down and just kind of going like this around right there. Okay. And that'll, that'll help blend the texture. Once I spray the texture on, that'll blend it really well. I'll do the same thing over here. I'll take off that rough edge all the way around. And this is the second coat also. And over here, you can see I'm working on this area. I've put a piece of tape down that place where the tape was gone. And I've fixed the crack all the way up to the top right there. And I've filled in this low spot here and this low spot right here. Before this wall was wavy because of that probably foundation crack. Now I've uh, taken it out with right out to here with a larger mud knife on both sides and filled in all that little hump area up there, which you can see why it's darker right here. It's, it's still wet. And then the wet spots right here, there's a really low spot here, here, here. And just by fanning it all out and running the knife across all those, the large knife right here, okay? It got all that smoothed out. And then I went over these three times each, three times, three times, okay? Everything is looking good. The floor is gonna to need to be swept again. Anyway, I'm about to paint this door again because you can see it's still showing through slightly. I'm gonna get all this just as it was before and even better. It's gonna be a little better because I updated the electrical and everything is just gonna be crispy because I've painted all four walls, which is so dark you can't see. It looks like kind of bad right now, but anyway, I will see you shortly. These two spots right here, they did not finish drying. I was here late, late, late into the night working on this, three in the morning. And it, it's not, it's only nine in the morning right now. And I just got back from Lowe's with the texture, but this is not ready still. So I'm gonna have to hair dry this with a hair dryer. Okay, and then touch up anywhere where it needs to be touched up. Same over here. You can see it's still wet right here in the middle where that low spot is. I want to show you this low spot, okay? I'm going to fill all this stuff in and uh, go over these spots one more time, but I'm going to have to hair dry them because they're just not ready yet, but I'm running out of time. So hair dryer time, and then I'm going to make a video, a special video actually separate from this on how to use a hopper to uh, put spray texture on. But anyway, and then I'll be continuing this video and to show you the progress on this room. I've just gotten the new mini blinds hung up and you can go check that out inside my landlording playlist or my uh, windows and doors playlist. So go check that out. But there, that is done. I have fixed the screen door. Okay. That is fixed once again. And we're going to go inside now. You can see they're moving in furniture. It is the morning of their move in day. They've got a couch in here. So I'm gonna get a quick walk through. You can see this floor, other than my trailing through here with sheetrock dust on my shoes. Um, so excuse that, but all the scrubbing turned out really nice and was well worth it. Also, when these people move out, I will easily be able to tell, hey, that wasn't there, obviously. That's why I do these walkthrough videos. Um, the lighting is funny, so you can't see the mini blinds. And you can see the mini blinds are in good shape here. Right there, I just replaced this mini blind just now. That's a brand new mini blind. The floor's looking good. Let's go in the kitchen area. I still have to get rid of this fridge and this fridge, but I'm gonna get this walkthrough video other than the two fridges. That's mine, that's mine, that's on me. But you can see this kitchen is in good shape. All the cabinet doors are looking fresh. Back wall, we got this fresh. Also the sink you can see is clean okay and the oven is clean okay with tin foil on the bottom 
now we are exiting the kitchen. I've painted these doorways. Everything's looking fresh. Once again, like I said, painted all the doorways and trams throughout the house. I'm gonna leave this for one more round because people usually put a couch there anyway. And that's the only spot that's bad, that's probably why. Down the hallway, the light is off. Let me turn that light on really fast. <clears throat> okay, that light is on. You can see we've got new air filters. Going down through here, I've painted everything white, refreshed white. Um, inside this bedroom, there's a couple of things that moved in, but you can see there's a couple of things from me, okay, that I left behind, okay? But other than that, everything's good, and that was from me as well. Everything else is good in here, okay? Ceiling fan. It's down the hallway, you can see the bathroom. Looks good in here. Not perfect, obviously. This vanity will be replaced eventually in that toilet and this floor. I'm going to do all that in one round, but you can see for now, it's got a hoop de doo there and there, here and there. It's just very small, minor things. That's a foundation crack, okay? Many blinds are good. It's missing one little strip right here. That's okay. Okay. This is the condition it is in when they're moving in. What up? Let's check in here. Okay, everything looks good and clean. This is the, the way I'm leaving it to them. Um, I'm gonna hand it over to them, but this is the room I'm working on. I'm currently hair drying this corner over here to the hair dryer. I'm using a heat gun. I'm gonna dry that, finish drying that, and finish drying this. Go over that a third coat, and then I'm gonna make that separate video on the texture, and I'll be right back once this is over. I have now got these two spots right here. They are ready. I've sponged the edges, and you can see there's a soft edge from texture to the flat. Softened edge, okay. No hard line anywhere. Okay, you can see that. Check out my sheetrock videos. Anyway, there's that one. Here's this one right here. Same thing. I've hair dried it, and this one over here is ready as well. All the edge of, edges have been softened all the way to the top, those two, and all that. And you can see this is what it looks like, the last viewing before I actually texture, okay? like before I knock it down okay okay and I did soften the edges on this sheetrock patch so I softened the edges with a wet with, with a wet cloth and then sprayed this over it after it dried dried it with a hair dryer and very basic very simple knock it all down with that little knock down tool you can see what this looks like in that corner Okay, and then over here, this is what we got over here before knockdown. All right, and then there's one more over here, two more, sorry, right there. All I'm doing now is taking a little wet sponge and this knockdown tool, and you're gonna use it a couple of times and then clean it off like that to keep it clean. And you're just gonna drag it across. Knock it down after it dries a little bit, go different directions, and make sure you pay attention to the area that you're knocking down so that, you know, you're not dragging stuff around too far. Just make sure that it looks good. You can see now I'm painting, and I wanted to leave a couple of spots so you could see it first. You, uh, hair dry first, and it's all dried, and we knocked it down. And now all I'm doing, remember we softened the edges too first, 
and obviously fix the holes in the wall. But anyway. Okay, they're moving their stuff in right now. I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of this room. You can see. Okay, it all looks really good. Can't even tell anything happened. And over here, and the paint is dry. The floor is clean again. The mini blinds are replaced and so on. Everything is replaced. So make sure you wear the right shoes and the right clothes because you're gonna be dealing with glass. And here's a little piece right here. Once you move it around, get it loose and then it peels right off.